I'm gonna go through some call outs. This is toxic right here, this whole area. This is cargo. This whole area. This is lower right here. Uh I'd like to call these crates because they're crates. Uh I normally call this one shack. Of course that's point right there. And I honestly just call this bridge because, well, you know, you, you don't normally call it. You normally call that they're just going across and trying to bam fight into you. So the, you don't really need that call out uh, any others. These, I think, are just called, like, on the point. You, I think that they do have a proper name, but I don't use the call out often, so. And on second here, this is called weed. Because, you know, all the the green light and the plant parts. This is the point. This also have a name. I think it's called... It's not called Balmets. I think... Normally people just call it besides the point. But I think there's a proper name. But I forgot. Uh, this is roll out right here. Uh, the rest of this is basically lobby. That's on there again. And as of call that's on last... This is point right here. This is Siberia because this is where the heavy stands normally when defending the point. The heavy can also stand like near the spawns, but this is commonly like when the heavy is trying to stop them from capping, he will normally stand here. You you can go off these because this is going to be a very spammable spot for any class, but this is the heavy's main playground. And also, this box right here is called Texas because that's where the engine normally puts their guns either here or like in these plants over here you can also put your gun like near the spawns like here maybe or even here but commonly it's there firstly i'm gonna go through the rollouts for reckoner on demo basically you can just jump and jump over here and then from here, you have like quite a few choices to go from. If you, if you want to go left, then you can go through cargo with a jump like this. And then, yeah, you're on the mid. Now, if you want to go right, then you can do a jump like this and it'll take you down there. You can get this lovely health pack here and then you'll be on the right and you can just spam the hell out of the enemy team. But you can also go through toxic like here and you know spam over there now now i don't normally go through toxic the roma will also come from rollout and do like two s jumps here and he'll also have about three spots to go from he can he can jump from cargo get in here and you know go and jump on mid toxic by you know jumping on this uh weed over there and but if he wants to go right, he can also <clears throat> he can also go through the uh, this little alleyway and all roll out here and uh, jump his way down. And then you know he can basically you know go up here, maybe bully the soldiers off. As for like the rest of the combo, depending on what side you're going in, they'll normally come out of lower or cargo. They don't normally go toxic because toxic is a very easy place to spam and you know having more people there is probably a bad idea scene transition on mids here if you're going left side it depends on where the enemy goes. If you're, if you're on mid here and they also go left side, it's basically just kind of like a spam war and you go off of demo damage. If your demo hits a good damage of like their demo man or medic even, the soldiers can do a bit of a bomb and, you know, destroy them. And then basically that's when your combo walks forward across and, you know, cleans up any other damage that the roam has done. And then you basically win the mid. Now, if the enemies go right side 
on the other hand, if you're a demo man rolling out Toxic, you basically have to kind of just give up on spamming because they're gonna like, they are going to go for you. You're pretty much alone. Your combo is probably gonna be like there or somewhere else. So you're basically gonna have to just like hold these doors and make sure nobody gets through to you and you know spams you off. Otherwise, that'll be bad. Now your combo is gonna fight them and gonna try and get them away from the door. And when they're away, you can just go back out and you know spam them and you know kill all of them. And yeah, then you win the mid. Now if you yourself is going right side, basically they basically you're gonna be trying and getting on the enemies that have went left side. So if their demo's in toxic, then you can basically just spam them out and probably get a soldier to jump him and, you know, kill him if he's not watching the doors properly. If he goes cargo, then it's basically just a standard spam fight. You know, just trying to get the damage necessary, get some kills for people. But if they also go right side, it's basically the same mid as the left, if you both go left side, since you both mirrored, it's going to be turning into a spam fight. You know, you're going to wait for your demo man to get the damage, and then the soldiers are going to try and jump in, get the kills. Scene transition! For holding second, when you're on mid, your demo man will normally be, you know, just watching cargo in here, spamming people who want to get too close. And, you know, spamming them out. And the pocket will also be here watching it. Either from here. There's a good spot here that's pretty spammable, but... Uh, scouts will normally be, like, just watching for sacks here. They don't normally do much on this point of often, like, build and just, like, try and catch out anybody that's sacking or going too aggressive. But that's not their main job. That's the main job of the demo and the soldier who are watching cargo and that. Meanwhile, your Roma is probably watching like low and toxic from like weed over here, looking for any sacks and you know, just spamming them out and calling if they're going like pushing from toxic or lower. If they are, then your demo can rotate because this point is not like very big. So he can, he can easily spam lower from like this area right here and also toxic and so can both the soldiers and yeah it's actually pretty good <clears throat> now if you want to go in for like a sack here soldier has a lot of spots he can go through lower and just like jump up and try and get the medic from there now pushing back in the mid from this the most common spots i see are lower and car and toxic but you can also push through card go by you know just getting your combo push through the doors here meanwhile the uh flank can go from toxic or lower either's fine really but i normally like the flank to go through toxic because it gives them more of a chance to catch out anybody who's like on the bridge and spot early where their combo is going and you can do some pretty good jumps there as well the force them out. Uh, if your combo wants to push from toxic however, the flank will normally go through to lower because you know lower has more like jumps on that and you can force them out of cargo and toxic. This is a very good bombing spot as well because this is normally where the combo will go and you know they have a lot of exits there and then the soldier is just free real estate for some lovely bombs you know. Now, you can also push from lower, yeah. You know, just clear anything that's here. And, you know, just push out of lower, spam any soldiers off of the uh, cargo and that. Meanwhile, your combo should definitely go through, like, toxic, because they can also do, you know, force them out with the jumps and fight their flank that's already there. Now, holding mid from second here your demo is going to be in cargo again you know he's going to be spamming out the enemy demo trying to make sure none of them go for like a sneaky little push and sack generally he'll be like over here but if they get aggressive but you can get aggressive and you know 
get really close and bam the hell out of them and you know your combo is going to be there as well pocket is going to be there also trying to aid you and scout is probably there your medic a little bit farther back trying to rotate the heals meanwhile your flank will probably be pressuring either toxic or lower probably toxic because that's where you can get the spam on the points and if their combo is fighting there if their flanks fighting there sorry you can get some good spam on the high ground over here if you do pressure lower however if they're playing aggressive you can get some good bombs here and you can also like get some good spam just from down here so it's not a bad spot to push them either uh if you get a kill the if you get a kill then a common thing that you, at least my teams like to do is the combo will pressure through toxic and the uh roma will probably like look for an opening through either cargo or lower so like if they're like rotating to try and pressure you toxic then the roma will just do a, like a mega jump here and then you know destroy them on the point or wherever they're playing and you can also but lower is probably the better sacking spot if nobody's watching it because there's going to be a lot of rain on this point you can go into rollout you can go behind and distract them and there's a lot more to do when you're sacking from lower scene transition you know pushing into second if you get enough kills uh you can push cargo that's a very good place to but you need to watch out for the soldier because cargo is a very sackable place and you can just jump in and destroy your medic and destroy his life uh toxic is also where a lot of toxic when you push out of toxic when you're pushing out of toxic it's gonna be like your demo and your combo you know trying to push out meanwhile your flank is either pressuring from cargo or lower trying to get the spam on the combo and you know trying to force their way through and trying you know trying to get some kills and that but if there's one thing that you shouldn't do not, not just on this map but in general the flank shouldn't really push in but you need your pocket to take the space before that because if they push in then they're gonna instantly focus you and spam you out or kill you meanwhile your combos like not really pushing in like here or here and they're not going to do much now because it's going to be like a 6v4 and then they're going to get spammed out and who knows they might even take the mid free scene transition no we'll go holding first holding this second from last here your demo is most likely going to be watching like up here spamming and you know just making sure nobody's going or playing close and your pockets probably gonna be there as well meanwhile like the medic's gonna be there as well meanwhile like your com your flank is probably gonna be trying and pressuring some of the doors you know just spotting things in last like a sentry or or a heavy or a pyro or anything they're gonna be ones that gonna they're the ones that's gonna be spotting the main things and you know calling out where the sentries are where their combo is you can do some sacks on this last of course with the soldiers you know just jumping on the point trying to get a force but the real sack is actually the demo man sack because you know if they have a sentry if they have a sentry the soldiers will get picked off instantly but the demo man has has a little jump that comes from this main door right here either you can do it with like two stickies and you know just jump in from last like you know this and you know destroy their combo there try and get a force or drop even or you can do a little bit of like an air pogo kind of like that and make sure to you know destroy them now the reason why this jumps works is because the when you get the kills needed then you'll probably be pushing through either left rollout here or the right here in that case the first thing you need to do is you need to either spam the point and take the side you know just locking off the spawn doors and you know get any guns down and then when you take the side you want to push across point trying to get as much damage as the combo as possible if you want to play the point on this map it's a little bit harder than most maps because there's a lot of ways the enemy team can just like go onto the point here like of course there's siberia here where the heavy sits 
And of course the soldiers can collapse onto the point. Off classes can defend the point really easily. So playing the point is probably the weakest strategy on this last hold. But normally I see like teams just like slowly killing off the people and if they like go into the spawn then the demon man will trap them off and then the scouts play the point meanwhile like the two soldiers watching this roll out right here now holding last it's gonna be like the demo man is gonna be watching the right here and also slightly the main if depending on how up he is the roma is gonna be watching through left here maybe i'm getting some peaks trying to spam the and your scouts are probably gonna be off classing uh the best off classes on this map are engineer and heavy you know noted by the siberia and the texas calls they are the most popular ones the heavy will be playing you know on siberia or maybe near their medic if they're not pushing in and you don't think they will you know just playing here you know in case a soldier jumps or playing here in case they push the point and they go on siberia easily and the engineer he actually has a lot of for guns on this map uh he can do it beside the bowels here so that it's watching the point and anybody who's sacking in or it can be on this side where you know the same thing basically and it's a little bit harder to spam of course texas here or even inside the plants where you know it's hidden and you know it watches the point perfectly while also making sure no sackers are coming in on on this ad on last the demo is going to be playing just a lot more passively like normally like if it's even or even add and you're not push looking to push out the demo is going to be like trying to get in and trying to spam them out maybe even entering lobby if he has enough space if you're playing on this side the demo is just going to be holding the doors here trying to look out for any sacks from the other doors but also making sure nobody walks across this door and of course he's going to be having some stickies on the point but out of most of the maps here, having stickies on point is probably not the most major thing because it is very spammable by most classes. The heavy will be, you know, holding closer to the spawns, won't be really covering the point as much. You know, if you've got an engineer, he has a gun. Yeah, soldier will be playing close to spawn with the medic. At least the pocket will. The Roma will probably be trying to spot where they're coming from, trying to watch the flanks. But again, not, not as close, probably like, probably like here. Could you please say, uh, scene transition for me? Yeah, that'll do. Alright, so pushing out of last. So, there's a few spots you can push from, from last. Firstly, you got the shutter, where, you know, your combo tries to clear any stickies up on the shutter, and then, you know, push right out while your pocket makes space. Probably jumping on weed and spamming them out. Meanwhile, your demo is, you know, spamming them out from either like toxic or lower if he's forward. <clears throat> now, if they're not, now if they're not outside of toxic or lower and instead like going to retreat from cargo, then yeah, there's not a lot you can do. Maybe the flank can maybe try and shove them out with like a jump from the Roma and spam, but. Yeah, they basically get a free out if they go from cargo. Another place you can push out of is, of course, rollout. You know, your combo tries and pushes out from rollout, trying to avoid spam. And with the new uh, corridor that they added in this version of Reckoner, it should be a lot easier because now they have to spam two separate doors. And of course, your flank can shove from the shutter, or even low if they want to, maybe get a little bit of a shack sack while they're distracted from the combo but there's if there's one thing one place where the combo shouldn't push out from it is lower because if you're pushing out of last it's probably going to be ad for you and they're probably going to play pla passive and while you can get in for free from lower lower is very spammable and you'll probably get forced and then they'll be like okay great we have ad time to go away and it is going to be very hard to catch them especially if they're playing somewhere like toxic or even cargo so yeah don't push out from lower yeah the pair yeah i got a pair i got a pair i got a pair i got two i got four again fuck all